In this lesson, we're going to go over the functions in the control bar at the top of the iTunes window. In the top left are the typical close, minimize, and full screen buttons. Next over, we have the playback controls. Play and pause here in the middle, and previous and next buttons on either side. Single click on these buttons to skip to the next track or go back to the previous one. Click and hold to fast forward or rewind through the current track. Next is the volume slider. This volume control is independent of your Mac system volume. So if my iTunes volume is all the way up, I can still use the volume buttons on my keyboard to adjust the system volume on my Mac which will affect the volume for iTunes. So if your max system volume is set really low and iTunes volume is high, you still might not get much sound. Make sure to adjust your max system volume as well. Next we have the AirPlay button. We can use this to send audio to AirPlay enabled speakers or send a movie to my Apple TV. With AirPlay, you can send sound to multiple speakers and control the volume of each of them independently. In the center area, what's playing is displayed. The song title is listed here, and then the artist and album. Click and drag on the playhead here to move to a different location of the song or whatever is playing. In the upper left, we have a shuffle button. Over in the upper right is a repeat button. Click it once and the album or playlist will automatically repeat. Click it again to repeat only this track. Click on the button here with three dots to display several options. If you're subscribed to Apple Music, it's possible to start a station from this track. Here we can check out the genius suggestions for songs that are similar or would fit together to be played along with this one. We can also quickly add this track to a new playlist or a current one. With the next three options I can quickly get info for a track, like it or dislike it. Choose Show in Finder to view the song file in a Finder window. Use the Go To menu to quickly jump to the song, album, or artist in the library. This can be nice if you are playing a song and then start browsing through your library as it plays. To avoid having to scroll back to find this song or album again, we can quickly jump back from the Go To menu here. Click on the album artwork here to the left to invoke the iTunes mini player. This can be great to have up in the corner of your display as you're listening to music. Click and drag to expand it a little. Click this button to close the album artwork and have it as small as possible. Close the mini player to automatically return to the standard iTunes window. This button contains the controls for Up Next, which we'll look at in its own lesson. On the far right of the control bar is a search field. I can look for pretty much anything here. Song titles, artists, a movie title, or more. Categorized results appear, which makes it easier to locate exactly what you're looking for. 